Crater Lake, one of the deepest lake in the United States and the seventh deepest in the world. The lake was discovered by American prospector Wesley Hillman in 1853. The lake developed when a 12,000-foot-tall volcano, Mount Mazama, erupted and collapsed 7,700 years ago. The lake has a total area of approximately 20 square miles, while maximum depth is 594 meters and the average depth is 350 meters. The lake is isolated from surrounding streams and rivers, as a result, it has no inlet or outlet. Its primary input is from annual precipitation in the region. The average annual precipitation is 168 centimeters, while the average snowfall is 13 meter. Two islands are in Crater Lake, Wizard Island and Phantom Ship. Wizard Island is a volcanic cinder cone, which forms an island at the west end of Crater Lake. The peak of the island is roughly 230 meters above the average surface of the lake. The land area of the island is 128 hectares. Phantom Ship. It is a tiny island located near the southeast end of Crater Lake. It is a natural rock formation pillar that takes on the appearance of a ghost ship, especially in foggy and low light conditions. The main reason that Crater Lake is so dangerous is because of the depth of the lake. Also thin layers of snow can form, especially around the rim, and collapse easily under a person's weight. One of the interesting facts about Crater Lake is that it is the only place in the world where you can discover the Mazama Newt, a subspecies of rough-skinned newt. Scientists are attempting to battle non-native crayfish and safeguard the existence of these rare newts, which are threatened by invading species. These unusual species are usually found hiding under rocks or logs. Lucky visitors may spot one of these rare creatures around the edge of the lake. Crater Lake is also known for the Old Man of the Lake, a full-sized tree, which is now a stump that has been floating vertically in the lake for over a century. The low temperature of the water has prevented the breakdown of the wood, contributing to bobbing trees' lifetime. The lake itself occupies less than 10% of the park. Beyond the lake, old-growth trees cover the landscape. The park which was established in 1902, preserves 15 types of conifers, ranging from towering ponderosa pines, to old whitebark pines. These trees shelter a wide range of wildlife, including black bears, mountain lions, elk, and spotted owls. Thank you for watching the video. For more interesting facts make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. Until then, peace out.